Sí. Well, it's really hard to predict what's going to happen today, but right now my goal is to catch a large mouth and a small mouth, preferably on two different techniques. But if it's approaching 60, then we might see some uh, bedding fish, which would be cool. 54, and this is the main lake. When I'm back there, I'm actually gonna try to mimic a stickleback. This is a crawdad pattern, but it's got stickleback colors and it's got perch colors. And the way it moves is much more indicative of a stickleback than anything else. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna do the Ned rig, which is always a good one to use. This is like a quarter ounce. It's a regular jig, but small. That's good for small mouths. Um, large mouths are gonna suck it up too. Chatterbait. And then a Senko for skipping up under docks. Let's go fishing. Fish on. Uh, maybe. Oh, there we go. Fish on. I had it on, it got off, and then I got it on again. Ooh, and it feels big too. Oh yeah, it's a good small mouth. Might shake my hooks, but I hooked a fish really, really quickly. I hooked him once, he got off, and I hooked him again. Barely hooked. Just got hooked better. And barely hooked again. Man, I'm gonna have some trouble if I catch a fish bigger than this. Check it out though. A gnarly looking pre-spawner maybe? Um, yeah, it's pretty fat. I hadn't been fishing very long and uh, I hooked into this fish. I'm not gonna weigh it. I think it's, um, Probably three pounds, two ounces. It's, it's a pretty good smallmouth. Gotta be the biggest smallmouth bass I've ever caught on a rattle trap. Well, I'm here, Gabe and I are at Lake Ballinger just taking a little walk, and there's like 20 people fishing, and I've seen huge fish pulled out, and stringers of fish, they're everywhere. They're just everywhere, and they're going crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Lake Washington right now. There's humans everywhere. <laughs> How's it going over there? I caught a giant smallmouth already. Already? Yeah, because you said you'd leave early. Cool. Everybody wants to go fishing right now. They've all been waiting. It's been months. Um, and there's people in my spot. But it's not my spot. It's the most known place on Lake Washington if you fish in the south end. Man, I could smell the COVID from here. So now I'm trying to mimic a sculpin. There's probably five different sculpin species out here. They all get pretty big. This is definitely half the size of, of, of the big ones that you'll find. You gotta keep it near the bottom to imitate a sculpin. The sculpin don't even have swim bladders. They just land on the bottom on their pectoral fins. They kind of look like little arms on the bottom and they can kind of walk with them. And anyways, you just want to stay near the bottom with them. So what I'm gonna do is put it on a three quarter ounce football head not a, not a lot of fun to lose these things that's a lot of lead to lose when you snag up but it's worth it and what i'm going to do is actually bite off the head so that the fat part is flush with the football head but it's a pretty compact bait i'm definitely targeting smallmouths with this approach but that's only because i'm fishing really deep water largemouths like to eat sculpin as well and there you have it the sculpin. I took this rattle trap off. I might put it on a different rod, but I wanted to use this rod, my TFO, with this setup. Man, I wasn't even doing anything. Yeah, I just let that thing settle to the bottom in this fish. Sucked it in. He's off. That was cool though. Well, I know I just hooked a fish back there. 
but I'm moving because over there was really loud, a lot of traffic noise, and it was also really windy. I was just drift fishing, which I will do if I have to, but I think what I'm gonna do is find a bay, find a little warmer water, and get out of the wind. I'm definitely fishing stuff I've never fished before, which is fine because I really don't know anything about Lake Washington. Hopefully I can figure it out somewhere where I've never caught a fish before. So I re-geared a little bit and I'm catering to largemouth fishing now. Half ounce jig with a craw trailer. It's a classic largemouth lure. Oh, I see a smallmouth on a bed behind those turtles. That might be a largemouth. Regardless, there's a fish on a bed right there. People say 62 degrees is the magic temperature for a largemouth to spawn in, but it's not. It's, it's just when the majority of them will have started or have already spawned. That's 57 degree water he's in. Oh yeah. It's a large mouth. Hope he stays hooked because I wanted to catch a small mouth and a large mouth. And I did. Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna target large melts for a little while longer now. The male, oh, there's a pair. Okay, so there's two nice ones and this is their bed right here. <sighs> you know, it's really satisfying being able to call your shots. Uh, I came back here and I just couldn't see there being anything but large mouths. There's a couple others that are bigger than this, so I might try to catch them too. Well, I did what I was trying to do. I caught a large mouth, I caught a small mouth, and I did it with two different techniques. The fish I was just seeing were in really shallow water doing spawning things. This water here is about eight feet deep, which is the perfect staging depth probably fish eating perch right here. Oh, there's one. He's pulling me. Way to make me look good, bass. Oh, I missed that. He's in seven and a half feet of water. This one's a little bigger, I think. Oh yeah, that one's bigger. Sweet. It's cool to get on a largemouth bite in Lake Washington, just because there's not as many largemouths here as there are smallmouths. Wow. Three pounds, 10 ounces. Really fat fish came out of that dock right there. Man, there might be a lot of largemouths around right now. So yeah, same area, but totally different approach. This fish, very, very ready to spawn, but it wasn't actually starting to. That's why its fins are so intact and so fat. It's just trying to get fat so it can spawn. And that's why I ate my jig. Probably in most circumstances, this fish went to bit. So yeah, I'm gonna let it go. So yeah, thank you for watching and uh, keep watching. If you are not subscribed, then please subscribe right now because you watched the whole video. So it wouldn't make sense not to. And thank you for watching the whole video. Until next time. Lake Washington is huge and we can really spread out. The fish really spread out too, so it's not really a big deal. I have lots of options, so give me a second and maybe I'll figure something else out. Let's go fishing. <laughs>